So if you have to record the molar mass of something, you first have to look at the formula and see who the players are. Now here we have Mg, O, and H. Mg is magnesium, O is oxygen, H is hydrogen. Now you look at the little subscripts that are after each element. So magnesium, there's nothing there, so we assume it's just a 1. The O, there's nothing there, so we assume inside the parentheses there's a 1. However, there's two sets of parentheses, so 1 and 1. Picture, if you get me messed up with this, picture OH and OH. Draw it out if you need to. That 2 means there's two sets of parentheses, so draw two sets of whatever's in the parentheses. And then just count, O and O. So there's two oxygens and two hydrogens. Now you can distribute this way, 2 times the imaginary 1, and again, 2 times the imaginary 1, and you'll get 2 and 2. The next thing you do is look on the periodic table. You have to look up the mass of one mole of each element. So if you look at the atomic mass, it's uh, 24.3 grams for magnesium, 16.0 grams for oxygen, and 2.0, I'm sorry, 1.0 grams for uh, hydrogen. And then you get your subtotals. So these gonna, are going to be our subtotals. 1 times 22.4, still 24.3. 2 times 16, subtotal of oxygen is 32. And 2 times 1, subtotal is 2. Then you add them all up. 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus 3, 58.3. And that's how many grams are in one mole of magnesium hydroxide.